Bang, needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is not with us. And today we are checking out the Medford 187. This knife is just under nine and a half inches. So yes, this is a beast of a knife. Let's check out some size comparisons. Here's the Spyderco Shaman, which is a big knife. Here is a couple more customs. This is the Marfione Custom Strider. Here is the Microtech Annex TAD. And here is the Quest Custom Warncliffe Gent. And um, I'll give you the whole Gritter RSK, which is also a big knife. And one other really long knife that's a little bit more budget. This is the Civivi Picaro, which is a very long knife. Okay, so let's get to this. The reason why it has the name 187 is because its blade stock thickness is 187 thousandths. So is both slabs of titanium. They're both 187 thousandths thick. Now, let's get into the good and bad things that I think about this knife. Now, first up, the blade. This is a 3V DLC coated blade that is hand ground and i can tell it's done by hand because if you look at the striations from the grind if it was a machine it would just go straight across it does not it goes this way and then turns the corner which only a hand can do you can probably barely see it because of the coating in the camera but there you go um i did sharpen this knife and I have to say, this thing must have a very good heat treat on it. The, the knife sharpened up so good. I really, really enjoyed sharpening this knife. One, it took a hell of a sharp edge. Two, it, it just it sharpened up really nice. Like just the way it sharpened, the way it deburred, the way everything went, it just went great. And I did notice that um, it had a factory edge, and that's why I put an edge on it. Um, the person that sent me this knife is Abby underscore normal underscore 1969. And he paid for all the shipping and everything, and I thank him for that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, he said I could sharpen it, the knives, and carry them. And I did carry this, so I did get to use it. I didn't cut anything that would scratch it or anything like that, but I did use it. And I did carry it, so I got to get a good review on it and i like that and i like to be able to sharpen knives that i do a review on and if i don't i tell you guys because sharpening a knife tells you a lot about that knife tells you a lot about the steel and let's let's you know be honest the best part about the knife is its edge is its steel is its blade so you know it tells you a lot about that and i can tell this definitely has a good heat treat this is 3v you can tell with the three right there and it did it was a little bit off from one side to the other not with the grind but with the edge so it had a factory edge on it so i wanted to tune that up a little bit i felt like he sent me a knife i you know it deserved a good edge so i put a good edge on it. i put about an 800 grit really nice edge on there and i didn't go higher even though I could have, you know, this thing would look amazing with a nice mirror edge on there. But this is a tool and I felt like it deserved a user's edge on there. And that's what I put on there. Now, the people that say that, um, oh man, that thing is crispy. People that say that Medfords don't cut, they either heard that from somebody else that said that, that never owned a Medford. Or two, were dealing with Medfords from a long time ago. Um, now I'm not going to pretend like I've cut with lots of Medfords or held lots of Medfords or anything. This is the first big Medford I've ever handled. But in my experience with this, with this Medford, this big Medford, it cuts great. The, it's about, um, I measured this one at, um, it was you know, it had some thinner parts, but between like 15 and 20 thousandths behind the edge. And it has such a deep, beautifully ground hollow grind. I mean, this thing cuts great. Now, it does have 187,000 thick 
blade stock, so there's going to be materials that it doesn't slide through like, like a razor blade, but when it comes to actually cutting things and slicing things and even passing through some things because of the way the hollow ground is, because of the way this is ground, it's going to go through things better than a lot of knives. I mean, it really does. Now, I'm just going to grab a piece of paper really quick and let you guys... Um, I know this doesn't mean anything. It's just stupid paper. But, I mean, this thing is... I mean, it's it's very sharp. Um, and it does go through materials very nicely. Now, let's step back now to the stop pin. This is a nice big chunk of a stop pin. If I can get it to come up. And you see it locks up there, and then it's also the blade stop when it closes. Opening and closing this thing, I was surprised how smooth this knife is. This thing is so smooth. I was expecting it to not be as smooth as it is. Now, I can just give it the little shakes and do that and shut it. Or I can give it one little slap, and it'll shut all the way. Let me raise you up just a little bit so I can get a little bit better schmitty going on here all right now let me open it and i close it one slap shut one slap shut i can thumb flick it i can middle finger flick it and all those are very easy i really enjoy slow rolling it and the reason why is because it's so glassy smooth i was i'm super impressed with how glassy smooth it is now you don't want to put oil or knife pivot lube or anything like that in titanium frame locks like this there on foster bronze for one they will that will create lock stick so stay away from stuff like that what you want to use is grease and what i used on this i'm going to show a picture really quick i used this stuff that I use at work that's um I will use on machinery and stuff like that, but it's it's basically a dry grease and it makes it's never I've never gotten lockstick from using this stuff, first of all. But second of all, it makes things so smooth. And this thing was smooth before, after that stuff. Holy cow, is it smooth? It just feels so so tight in the pivot, yet smooth. The lock bar is very strong, which I do like. It makes me know that this thing is locked up like a tank, which it is. I mean, you're not getting no play out of this thing. I mean, it's, everybody knows that. I mean, it's a Medford. So it's definitely locked up like a champ. And the lock bar access to get your thumb in there to disengage it, even though they didn't put a cutout with this one, because you have this 187,000 inch gap right there, they did put this little chamfer right there, this cutout right there, which leaves lots and plenty of room to get in there and disengage. I really like that. You guys know, if you watch my reviews, you know I like having easy access to my lock bar. This definitely does. You can swing it like that, which I sometimes do. I unlock it and then swing it. And you see how smooth it was right there. I and mean, this thing is super, super smooth. But... I do really like to be able to unlock it very easily. The cutout isn't so much of, it is a, a finger choil, but only f so much of like the first nub of your finger. So like if you're doing the fine details on something, then you can put the, your first nub in there. But you can't go any farther than that because this is, it's very sharp right there. And you will absolutely cut yourself putting it in there. So... You can, you know, you can get up like this if you're going to do this grip, you know, and get up there. But for the most part, it's a sharpening trail. But what I do like is that this place where the stop pins stop right there to close the knife leaves a nice little pad right there for you to put your finger. So you can choke up like this. You can get, I really like this grip right there. And you can really use this knife like that. I really like that. Now the ergo's on it. Um, I, I like, 
Um, it is a little boxy, a little squared off, but of course it is. I mean, look how, look at it. But it does have the chamfers around the edges. Now, I don't really get any hot spots, even from the clip. The clip just falls right into a nice place right here in my palm that just, it fits really nice. So I don't really get any hot spots until I come back like this. And the only time I would come back like that is I'm chopping something. So if I'm going to chop through something maybe. But that's when I feel if I really squeeze it right there, right in my pinky. So right there in my pinky, I'll feel that. But this jimping, yeah, it's sharp. I mean, it's real sharp. It's even sharper than this jimping. But it's it doesn't bother you when you're up here. So... It, it only bothers you if you're back here like this. And it doesn't really bother you because you're probably going to have gloves on if you're using it like an axe. So if you are, then, you know, you're going to have gloves on. It's not that big of a deal. But it is sharp back there. But I don't, it doesn't bother me, you know. The jimping back here, it's not really aggressive. I, I kind of wish it could be just maybe possibly just a tiny bit more aggressive but if i'm using it and i'm actually bearing down it's gonna work it's gonna work exactly for what it's made for but it is something i can go like this with very easily but now if i put pressure um it's gonna stop me from sliding sliding up the blade so it's doing its job so i'm that's not gonna uh, i'm not gonna complain about that i love the giant hardware all the way around um I love the clip. The clip works very well. I carried it, and even though there's this much hanging out of your pocket, there's this much hanging in your pocket. It's not coming out of your pocket. It works really, really good. Um, and it has really good tension, too. I really like that. I like this since it's such a heavy knife. It has really good tension, and it gives you plenty of room for your jeans. And yes, I said jeans because you're going to be wearing jeans carrying something like this. It's perfectly centered. And it's just, it feels so um, tough. It feels like a tool, and I like that. I've used tools my whole life, and I really like the thought of a knife being a tool, which is what it is. And I like it doing its job, and that's what this does. It's, it's an all-around tool, and you can feel it. You can tell. I'm not going to complain about the weight. Yes. Is it heavy? No, it's not heavy. It's not at all. This thing is light as hell. This thing is a titanium frame lock knife with 187,000 thick blade. It's supposed to be big. It's supposed to be, you know, what it is. So I'm not going to complain about something like that. If, if you're counting ounces and grams when you get something like this, and if you carry something like this, don't carry it. Don't get it because it's not something for the shy or for the, the fearful of an ounce or a gram. This is for people that work, people that – I'm not saying you have to you know, use tools to carry a med for. I'm not saying that at all. So don't, don't you know, take me wrong. I'm just saying that this knife is, is – made to be what it is so you can't complain about some weight when they make a knife this strong and this tough and it weighs what it does you just can't i mean it's gonna be what it is now the bad things that i think about this knife that i don't like is um well first up let me back up really quick there's one thing that happened that is not going in the complaint whatsoever it's just a thing i'm going to talk about so when i first got it i opened it up a few times and i really didn't spend that much time opening but i opened it a couple times like that slow rolled it a few times and then i looked at it and i noticed the stop pin if i can get this thing to not be blurry the stop pin had moved over and it was almost completely to one side so i called the owner up right i messaged the owner and said what do you want me to do and you know he said take care of it so i took care of it i i took it out put some blue loctite on it let it sit for 48 hours and remember guys that's how you guys got to use loctite when you put loctite on use or let it sit for 48 hours that way it has time to settle and dry and everything else since then no problem so is that a complaint no not at all this is a pressed if i can stop the blurriness it's a pressed stop pin so you know yeah it could come out if you, if you wanted to or if um if the the loctite or you know whatever's in there wears off so i don't know 
how old this is or when the owner got it. And also, I know this has been through another reviewer's hands. Not a big deal. Put the Loctite on there, no problem. So my complaints are, um, one thing is, is that, let me shut it. <sighs> what was it? It's not too many things. <laughs> I really like this knife. Um, oh, yeah. This right here. Okay, so you see how this is where the lock bar locks up. Right there. So when I close it, you see it coming around. That's it. That is the tang of the blade and where the lock face locks up. Now, if I'm up on a ladder or I'm anywhere and I drop this thing and bang, it hits concrete. This is foam. If it hits concrete, it is definitely going to scratch or maul that. I haven't heard a lot of people complaining about that, but I could see that happening. And I don't I, I know they supposedly have very good warranty service. Um and I heard that now you can take them apart now. I don't know how true that is, so don't quote me on that. But I I feel like um, that's a bad thing, though. I, I wish that wasn't poking out so much so that wasn't a scare. This is supposed to be able to be dropped off of rooftops and ladders and stuff. And that's one bad thing. You shouldn't, you can't drop it off of a ladder if it's going to damage it, you know, or damage the lock face, I should say. Um, so... Another thing is is that uh, I'm not sure how the warranty thing goes with Medford and letting you take it apart. Is it that big of a deal? No. You're going to need their tool to take it apart, take the pivot apart. So I don't like that. I would have rather seen um, maybe just a gigantic Torx bit or something. I don't know. Is it that big of a deal? No. I don't really care. They tighten theirs down really tight. That's usually why Medfords are so tight to start off with. Because what he wants is he wants it to break in on the inside and for you to not have to tighten it ever so if it loosens to perfection rather than loosening and then being too loose as it breaks in it loosens to perfectness or loosens till it's perfect then you're less likely to ever have to tighten the pivot just because it started getting play after it breaks in because a knife's always going to eventually break in but this is an awesome knife. This is a beast of a knife. I love, I really, really enjoyed getting to handle this. I really appreciate Abby letting me check this out. Uh, and is it a small little uh, Benchmade mini grip? No, it's not. It's not that at all. It is a 100% tool. And I like that. There's my... Uh, Good and bad for you guys. There's not too many bad. I mean, I can't really find too much bad about this knife. You know, it's built how it is and it is what it is. So I can't, you know, I can't get down on it for stuff like that. I can only talk about the things that I don't like about it. And I like everything about it. It's badass.